Well, howdy y'all. It's a handy redneck here. It's oh, about 420 on the 4th of April 2019. It's approximately 52 degrees out. Uh, it's overcast. Been raining earlier today. But I wanted to give you a, a quick little peek of what I did today because I ain't done a whole lot because it's too wet to garden and most of the garden's set and ready to go so we ain't got a lot to consider. Yeah, we got the, the uh, lantern going. Um, it helps to keep the mosquitoes away, so, and I kind of like it. It's kind of pretty. Um, along here, all these pots have uh, turmeric or ginger in them. We'll dig down and I'll show you, see? That's a ginger over here. I'm pretty sure that one down there, that's a turmeric. But anyway, um, our balcony beds are doing all right. You know, the, the thyme and the marjoram is up and doing all right. Uh, three of the five onions in here have uh, sprouted. Uh, this other box here, uh, it's got peas in it that uh, about five or six of them have actually broke the surface I know I planted about 40 of them in there so hopefully the rest will start popping up here pretty soon uh, the avocado tree is loving it uh, its leaves have yesterday when we brought it outside its leaves were real droopy uh, and now they have just picked picked up and are feeling pretty awesome. I'm thinking it probably liked having a rain shower. You know, getting all that uh, dust and dirt off of it from being inside all winter. So, with it being overcast, it's not likely to get much of a sunburn. So, it's doing alright. And then uh, the two moringas are next to it, and then uh, in this pot here we got uh, Cherokee purple. Then we got two pots of uh, mixed heirloom with onions. Then we got in this pot here uh, an heirloom Arkansas traveler. The next pot over we got three. Um, heirloom Brad's Atomic uh, Brad's Atomic Grape Cherry Tomatoes then we got a bucket that we planted loofahs in we got a bucket where we planted asparagus uh, yard long beans in then we got this here empty bucket and two buckets of uh, cucumbers um, I'm trying to keep the cucumbers away from the tomatoes a bit because cucumbers and tomatoes don't get along too well. Up here, we got a, a bucket with um, turmeric in it. It's got the two, uh, two of the three mother rhizomes from last year in it. So then this. Uh, raised box here the chamomile is doing all right the six of the seven um echinaceas are, are are okay the parsley's doing good i also tossed some seeds in here of uh what is it? strawberry spinach plant uh then yesterday we put out the hummingbird feeder because you know somewhere between the 1st and the 15th of April 
is when the hummingbirds are supposed to start showing up in this area. So with it yesterday being the third and today being the fourth, we get the hummingbird feeder, which you can see right here in the center out. But uh, it's also warm enough that I brought a couple of uh, other seedlings out that I started last fall. Um, these are my lemon trees. Um, they've been under, under lights and growing. They're about six, somewhere between six and eight months old now. Um, back here, this one, this is a, a, a kale that I started indoors from seed just for um, farts and grins. Uh, on in a bucket back here it's actually a double bucket um, to help keep it moist we got some uh, branches from some fruit trees from an abandoned orchard that we're trying to sprout out and root up so we can have extra fruit trees not just the apples and pawpaws and we'll go on a little bit of a walkabout here uh, this tree right off the porch here uh, it's uh, starting to leaf out this here is a mulberry tree um, then right behind it next to the house is a walnut it's a black walnut uh, next to that just a little bit over uh, that one with the hose hanging off of it that's a pecan uh, back further we got another pecan uh, right there we got a couple of spots here that we started from seed a couple of years ago that just keep overwintering and coming back um, lemon balm we picked that up off and have us some nice tea we got our tater towers uh, the first one here has four potatoes in it the second one has five uh, on this second one only uh, three of them have broke the soil over here we've got four that have broken the soil um, this one here uh, has gotten hit by a cold but if you look closely it looks like it's putting on new leaf and sprouts inside there so we got lots of hope for that then we got the other two tater towers that we just started the other day um, don't expect to see anything breaking the surface on them for a little bit <laughs> we'll get over here to what is named the G2 um, G2 garden and it's called the G2 garden because it was the second one, second raised garden bed we um, built. But if you look in here, all these uh, right in here, these are black nebula carrots. And if we follow this all the way down the bed, uh, if you look carefully, <clears throat> we planted two to three carrot seeds per little clump and it looks like just about every last one of them germinated so <clears throat> we should have us a good crop of black nebula carrots a little further in uh, let's see if we can get in here and have us a look a little further in we've got these seedlings here these are uh, cherry vanilla quinoa uh, they look to have germinated quite well. In here, we've got some transplants of uh, uh, Brussels sprouts. That's what these big ones are. And the, but uh, because we had a few extra. And then these smaller ones down here, those are kale. Coming further into the garden bed here, 
Uh, you see, pretty regular. We got uh, Tokanashi white turnips. <laughs> Down here, we've got uh, Brussels sprouts, just Brussels sprouts at this edge of the bed. Inside here, uh, if you look careful, um, just coming up is a gold giant amaranth. Uh, over here is the another little tater tower we planted out and we put uh, some pumpkin in it. <laughs> Over here, we've got uh, three of the original eight tomatoes survived the cold spell. And I replaced the other five with uh, three heirloom Arkansas travelers and two uh, heirloom Cherokee purple tomato plants that I got from the store that just barely survived the, the freeze at the store. So, But if we look careful in here, we can see the onions is coming up nice out further. Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, right there, uh, we got cabbages from seed coming up. Back here, the spinach is coming up nicely. Um, <laughs> the spinach won't last too long out here before it gets too hot for it. So it'll get ate up and we'll plant in uh, a couple of sweet potatoes for eating leaves. Uh, in this center area here I don't see any that have sprouted up yet, but we got celery in here. And then uh, all the pepper plants except one have made it. This one here um, got hit by the cold and it ain't going to make it. <laughs> but that's alright. I've still got one in the house that I've been saving because it was too small to bring out to begin with. Continuing on uh, to the G, what is this? G4 bed? G, no, G3 bed. Third raised bed we made. If we look careful, we can see the, see the beets are up. The, the celery over here is not up yet. Neither is the amaranth we planted. Uh, we did a Chinese spinach amaranth over here uh, and uh, Chinese pink celery neither neither of which have come up yet uh, here in the center of the bed on the back side we've got uh, buckwheat uh, we did lose a couple here and there to the cold but all the others are up here in the center, if we look careful, we can see just coming up, uh, breaking the surface is the okra. Down further, we got uh, the red cylindra beets. They're coming up nice. In the center here, we got three heirloom uh, Brad's atomic grape tomatoes. And then we've also planted out our butternut squash. In the G5 bed, uh, coming along nicely. And I'm afraid to get out and count because they keep popping up. But if we look careful through this whole bed, we'll see stuff like this. That's our, our black coolie corn that's up and then we've got the G4 bed over here which was just kind of cobbled together um, it's got the chicken wire on it to keep the chipmunk out of the 
uh, sunflower seeds we planted in there. <laughs> now, along this, all right, right here, this is an apple. Then we've got a uh, pawpaw, and the pawpaw is starting to leaf out. Then we got another apple, and you wouldn't believe it if I told you, but every apple tree I'm about to show you is the exact same age. All the seed, all were started from seeds, from uh, uh, two apples out of the same bag. So. Uh, it's a little bit of proof the, of genetic diversity that two apple seeds won't grow equally. This is the biggest of them. It's about, oh, I'd say it's, it's pushing 20 feet tall now. Um, it's a pretty good apple tree. Then we got another apple after the after the G4 bed, we got this here apple. Then we got another pawpaw tree that's leafing out. Uh, these pawpaw trees, I got them as uh, year year old saplings, and I planted them this past winter. And I put cages around them and filled the cages with leaves to protect them. Then we got here. We got another apple. Then another apple, and another apple. We got a grand total of 10 apples around the, this part of the house. Um, out front here, we got uh, the wild blueberries that uh, cropped up here are starting to leaf out, so shouldn't be too long until they're blooming. So we need to get in clean them out so they're ready to go we got a, uh, a a bush or hedge cherry right here that has just finished blooming I'm hoping it got pollinated because it's produced once before and I got one cherry off of it and the birds got the rest <laughs> but um yeah, we got 10 apples and wild blueberries and cherries and pawpaws and uh, we're trying, I'm trying to get more trees started. Um, up here next to the house, last fall I had some extra kale and collard seed and I just started throwing it all around. As you can see we got some kale that has cropped up there. Um, <clears throat> out on the other side of the raised beds here, uh, those little short trees you see, well, those are buckeye trees. Uh, again, started from seed years ago. Uh, they produced, but as I was saying, I was throwing uh, kale and collard seeds all over the place and so we got collards and and kale growing all over the place these purple flowers here these are silver dollar money plants so those are, are, are nice and then also up in this rocky outcrop because for years all the rocks got pushed down into one general area, but that's okay. But uh, we planted these babies right here. These are black raspberries. And uh, there's, these were planted two years ago, and they're finally establishing and uh, expanding their territory. So hopefully one day this whole area right in here will just be uh, black raspberries. Anyway, uh, that's about it. Uh, thanks for letting me talk at you. This has been a handy redneck.
and I'll talk at you all later.